What's up everybody, Phil Blackman with Barben.com and today we are going to cover the 10 athletes that you need to watch in the upcoming 2021 CrossFit Open. Before we do that, if you wanna catch up on all things CrossFit, just head over to Google, type in Barbend CrossFit. All of our coverage is gonna come up about the 2021 season, about the CrossFit games that happened recently towards the end of 2020. You're not gonna to wanna to miss any of that coverage. There's a lot to go through and big, big things are happening in 2021 in the CrossFit space. So athletes are shuffling and setting into new training programs and getting used to new coaches. Announcements from CrossFit HQ are getting more focused and hopefully dates are done shifting. The 2021 CrossFit Open is just weeks away and with a refreshed leadership staff, a new adaptive division and updated qualification standards, it feels like there's a new lease on the sport of fitness. So while you're likely to recognize dominant names that are usually at the top of the leaderboard, here are 10 names that we think are going to come out in a big way going into the 2021 season. Kicking things off in the women's division, we have Mal O'Brien. This team phenom is poised for a big year after taking the 2020 season off to rest, recalibrate, and switch coaches. Now, working with former pro football player James Townsend, O'Brien, who's 17, seems to be ready for some big competitions. While she would qualify to compete in the 16 to 17 teams division at the CrossFit Games, O'Brien took a noted leap last year, competing in the elite women's qualifier for the CrossFit Lowlands Throwdown, and taking first place. That is a huge finish for the 17 year old. Next up, we have Brooke Wells. Saying this fierce 25 year old finished last at the 2020 CrossFit Games finals just doesn't seem fair. For one, she was in a field of five and had taken second in three events and first in the handstand walk. She posted a massive 430 pound deadlift that was one of the most memorable moments of the games. She recently announced that she was leaving coach Ben Bergeron and would be joining uh, Proven Fitness alongside Tia Claire Toomey and Shane Orr. So expect some big things from Brooke Wells this season and potentially getting up onto the CrossFit Games podium. Next up, we have Paula Selick. Selick stepped onto the CrossFit Games floor in 2018 for the first time and was featured in the Adaptive Athlete event. Paula has Herb's palsy as a result of a birth injury to her brachial plexus nerves, preventing full use and function of her right hand, arm, and shoulder. She has been an outspoken member of the Adaptive CrossFit Athlete community, winning the Wadapalooza Standing Adaptive Athlete Division in 2019. She then joined Team Wheel Wad and received an invite to the official Adaptive Athlete Games, but soon after suffered an Achilles injury during box jumps. And after spending time recovering and rehabbing, Selick is back to training. So expect some big things from her in the 2021 season. We're excited to see what this year's CrossFit Games Adaptive Ath Athletes division will bring. And Paula is definitely one of the athletes that you should keep an eye on. Next up, we have Amanda Barnhart. Now, with solid performances in the single modality events in last year's CrossFit Games, Barnhart ended up in seventh place for the second year in a row and is hungry for more. Now, seventh place was just shy of getting to the CrossFit Games finals where only the top five athletes got to compete in 2020. So now she is an official member of ComTrain. She'll be sharpening her skills under the tutelage of Ben Bergeron and alongside two-time games winner, Katrin David's daughter, who took second at the CrossFit Games in 2020. Now let's take a shift over into the men's division. We have first up Justin Medeiros, who snuck up on most people last year. Medeiros qualified just behind games giants Matt Frazier and Noah Olson for the finals last year and held to a strong finish overall in third place, where he was maintaining himself with the five-time fittest man on earth in many of the events. If you go back and watch the Ranch Loop event, he is neck and neck with Frazier all the way until the end of that event. It was an incredibly impressive effort from the rookie CrossFitter. Next up, we have Chandler Smith. In 2012, while watching the CrossFit Games broadcast, Chandler Smith set a 10-year goal to be on the games floor in 2022. The Army captain and West Point graduate made it by 2019. In 2020, he qualified again through the Open, and to leave no doubt, he won the CrossFit Mayhem Classic event. He narrowly missed making it to the five-person games finals at the CrossFit Ranch by placing sixth in stage one, just two points behind Jeffrey Adler, who was in fifth. Smith would travel to Aromas to ultimately be part of the demo team, so he actually did run the events that all of the finalists at the CrossFit Games did as well. So lately, he's been teasing changes on social media. Most recently, he posted a photo of himself and Ben Bergeron at CrossFit New England with the caption, off, quote, off work, 
See y'all in February. Honestly, we're here for it. Chandler Smith, definitely somebody you should keep an eye on in 2021. Next up, we have Sean Sweeney, AKA the CrossFit Cowboy. He has had his share of ups and downs over the last eight years of competition, but he's recently said he truly believes this will be his quote, best season yet. Sweeney, known for his infectious charisma and trademark cowboy hat at his three CrossFit Games appearances, recently launched his, launched his own training program called The Cowboy Way. This was his main focus for 2020 after qualifying for the games in his best ever open performance and then being quote unqualified when COVID-19 when COVID forced new qualifying standards. So Sweeney appears to be ready to get back to it in 2021. He's definitely gonna be somebody to keep your eyes on because he was a contender in 2020 and then a whole bunch of things out of his control changed everything about his course. So 2021 could be Sean Sweeney's year. Next up, we have Jan Kowski. He tends to run under the radar, but Finland's Kowski is worth keeping an eye on. He was just 10 points out of qualifying for a spot in the finals. Kowski boasts a long resume of games appearances starting back in 2014. He won the French Throwdown in 2019, and at just 26 years of age, he still has plenty in the tank to look at and potentially getting onto the CrossFit Games podium, and it could happen in 2021. Next up, we have Xavier Osa. Osa is an absolute monster in the adaptive athlete community. Commuting out of Spain, Osa was born without half of his left arm and without two full fingers on his right hand. But you can catch him on Instagram performing handstand walks, snatching, and performing butterfly pull-ups better than most people would do it in your box. And last up, we have Lucas Hogberg. The last time Sweden's Hogberg did the CrossFit Open, he didn't finish. After two weeks in the 2020 Open, Hogberg cited general fatigue, stress, and some frustration with the new CrossFit Games format for pulling out. In a recent Instagram post, the CrossFit Games account point blank asked if he'd be back in the Open this year, and he replied, quote, of course, always, unquote. So if you are going to watch anybody in 2021, it's gotta be Sweden's best. That's the list of who you should be keeping an eye on in 2021 as we head into the CrossFit Open. The 2021 CrossFit Games, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to see a large crowd and get back to a normal routine. Although the uh, 2020 finals was an, a spectacular show, if you want to check out any of that coverage, just head over to barbend.com and check it all out. We have a lot of coverage there, and it was really, really epic. But we have a lot to look forward, for, look forward to in 2021 as the Open fast approaches. Until then, I'm Phil Blackman for barbend.com, and we'll catch you next time.